happened here with a fine goal. It was a good goal, and it came at a crucial time, I think, for his side. Your captain's input there. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. I have to say it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. He's cut it out, and 20 minutes to go. And he could get away here. And shoots! Goal! Well, he's only been on the pitch a matter of minutes. I'm not sure he's touched the ball before this, but a vital touch there to score. Well, it is the way the modern game is played, isn't it? This kind of breakaway, and they couldn't live with them. Well, if you've got pace, as this side have, you're always going to be a threat on the counter. It's a wonderful finish. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Cher. Well, the home team has been outplayed, and the home supporters have lost their will to support, I think. Well, haven't they just? You could hear a pin drop here. Seen one or two heading for the exits. They're not impressed. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. If you saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Now, this is an interesting attack. Defended well. Cleared his lines. And Newcastle on the ball, but not uh, really on the ball as far as their performance is concerned. They're way out of this one. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that. And in it goes. Cleared away by the defender. They've set it up well for the cross. It's a good place to win the ball here. Real chance. How did he save that? Uh, he's one of the best in the business for those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. Corner played in. It is a corner that's too close to the goalkeeper. He'll catch them all day. And the decision for the added time is three minutes. Three minutes of added time. Sung Young Ki. Well, we're down to the last minute here. And there it is, game over. And Arsenal are the winners. Put down a marker. I think the expression is with the first game and that's what they've done here with a good win yeah i think any other team watching this will uh, appreciate that they could be quite a force this season this lot some final thoughts on one of the better performers today alan got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift excellent performance
They were two of Europe's foremost club sides last season, winners of the Champions League and Europa League, respectively. Now they lock horns with the Super Cup at stake. It's Manchester City. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. And we are ready to go just about. Millions of viewers from all around the world are tuning in for the Super Cup decider. My name is Derek Ray here on the commentary position. I'm joined by Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're inching ever closer to kickoff time. It is Manchester City up against Arsenal.
So the Super Cup final, winners of the Europa League and the Champions League playoff in this prestigious trophy, played in it once against Milan, got 3-0 and 2-0, got beat 5-0 on aggregate. Not my favourite competition. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Emerson, the Brazilian, between the posts. Emerick Laporte starts alongside Nicolas Otamendi in central defence. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Fernandinho in central midfield. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. So the starting 11 for Arsenal. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. In the battle for the UEFA Super Cup, they are underway now. Bernardo Silva. Sterling has it. It is a fruitful forward run. De Bruyne in the centre. An easy meet for the keeper given that cross. Havertz. And threading it forward. Well, just couldn't quite keep himself onside. The flag has gone up. Bernardo Silva. He's been a bit unlucky. Now, Kolasinac. Arsenal have given it away. Grimaldo. Teammates could potentially join in. De Bruyne. Well, can he make this move count? And here is Fernandinho. He has time to play it over. And a half-baked clearance. It's a weighted pass. He's in with a chance. A really sumptuous ball. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. And a bit more analysis as regards the goal. And underway again, Arsenal other side in front. It's with Bernardo Silva. Laporte. Bernardo Silva. Aguero. Bernardo Silva. Aguero. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Fernandinho with it. De Bruyne. And this is Zane. Can they slot it home? Now he must favour the cross. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Surely the equaliser. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, goal behind Derek, and he's missed. It's a big miss.
Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Zane. De Bruyne. Tremendous block. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Well, great read there to intercept. Oh, that's an interesting pass. He might be able to make it through. And the goal keeping at it. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. Let's have another view of that goal. So, 2-0 now. It's with Bernardo Silva. It's with Laporte. Bernardo Silva. Well, they are on the wrong end of the scoreline. But, Lee, your overall thoughts on their current situation? Well, I'd have to give City 6 out of 10 so far. They've been the nearly team. It's close, a bit more aggressive in midfield, get the ball into wide areas a little bit more, try and stretch the opposition. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Crossing opportunity. Well, can he make this move count? Will there be a tangible end product? Leroy Zane! Well, he's missed it, and you have to be opportunistically when you're chasing a game. Two goals down, you've got to take chances like that, Derek. De Ligt. Given away. Fernandinho. The and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Sterling, such a difficult player to thwart. Fernandinho with it. Moving through the gears. Unable to find the back of the net, and still a lot of work ahead of them here. Well, he probably surprised if he scored from there, but it is worth an effort. And the second half in this UEFA Super Cup tussle is underway here. Carrying a genuine threat here. Going for power there, but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. Danilo. Otamendi. Fernandinho with it. Ball with Danilo. Sterling. Danilo. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Fernandinho. Arsenal have given it away. And Sterling has it. Now in possession, Kosar. He hears the footsteps and feels the pressure. Thomas, well, regaining possession for his side, cleverly. He's protecting it effectively. Excellent challenge. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. And fed forwards. He just needs to stay level-headed now. Still a chance. And whipped into the box. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Sané. Sterling has it.
and cleared away. And Manchester City. Going to the bench, a double substitution here. Corner awarded to Arsenal. So the corner played into the box. Well, clattered away. Corner once more. And he's fired over the corner. And you need your defender to take charge. Read it superbly to take back possession. Grimaldo. Zane has it. 15 minutes remaining. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Zane. Aubameyang at the ready. The keeper really had work to do after that header came in. Marks out a 10 for the save lead. I'll give him an 8. No, 7. Danilo Casemiro attempting to play catch up in this second half Lee, what ought the priorities to be? City will feel that because the game is so close there's another goal out there more pressure, more balls in the box more intensity, force the issue options around him now with Aubameyang Aubameyang Thunder's clear. Tremendous vision. He's really sliced them open. De Bruyne. Now with Aubameyang. Zane has it. Casemiro. De Bruyne now. And Bernardo Silva has it. Sterling has it. Now he must favour the cross. There will be a minute Sterling. Minutes. It lacked conviction, that clearance. And maybe an opportunity for the opposition. The first European trophy of the season, then. And they are delighted to have won it. Joy for the fans who have travelled here. Disappointment, of course, for the losers. You never want to go down in the battle for the UEFA Super Cup. Now the trophy presentation league. Well, it's not the Champions League, that's for sure, but a trophy is a trophy. And if you're in it, you might as well win it. And these players will enjoy this moment, picking up that trophy, and hopefully there's bigger things to come in the future. It used to be contested over two legs until 1998. Since then, a one-off occasion. And here we are. A big celebration. The Super Cup is lifted. All that pre-season work out of the way. They'll enjoy these moments and then it's back to work as soon as the proper stuff starts. Really is the ideal way to get into gear for the season ahead. Giving it another hoist, and rightly so. Great names on that trophy. Well, yeah, my mum always said get in front of the photos. And there he is. Your mum educated you very well, Lee. So the Super Cup victors. In the battle for the UEFA Super Cup, they're underway.
Hi everybody, welcome to the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Martin Tyler and alongside me is the former Arsenal striker, Alan Smith. And our match today, Arsenal and they play Burnley. Well, what a game, Martin. The start of the season, chance for them to get back in front of their own fans and really announce their intentions this season. And I think those intentions are going to be good, they're going to be strong and they really should be up there competing for the title up against a side that, uh, middle of the road in many respects, can't see them doing too much in terms of pushing up in the table, but they're not going to get relegated mid-table side all over. This is the Arsenal lineup. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he, the manager, for the pressing style of play that's been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Quite a few changes for Burnley. In goal today, Nick Pope. Danilo D'Ambrosio starts with Matthew Lowton as the wide defenders. And a partnership with these two strikers up front. Thank you for attending the Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the match. So Arsenal kicked off.
Now Thomas. Good vision. Delivered into the box. It's in. It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. And we'll now have to see whether that will change both managers' approach to this game. It is a goal for Arsenal. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Arsenal have the lead. Gibson. It's a very good interception. Mbola. Doing well to keep the ball. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. No nonsense defending from him. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Now, this is an interesting attack. Rice. Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Well, it's taken a touch there off the defender. It will be a corner. Corner played into the middle. It's a good place to win the ball here. Room for the cross. And the goalkeeper reached for it, but he didn't have to reach at full stretch. Made a bit of a meal of it there. Well, here comes the corner. Oh, that's good defending. Getting forward well as a team now. Got the ball back by that interception. And it will be their throw. Now Thomas. Cleared it well. Excellent interception. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, isn't it, straight away? Going forward well. well he's cut that out well, well read. Strong, powerful clearance. Good Munson. Westwood, Mbolo. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Well, then it goes. It's a weak cross, really, not getting past the first defender. Room now out on the wing. Couldn't keep it. Arsenal have the ball again. Trying to steer it through. He's through here. Let in the shot go. It's a miss at a significant time. Will that come back to haunt him? They could have been pulling ahead. Yeah, you see it so often. But uh, they are still in charge of this match. Got on the ball in midfield. Well read by the player in that part of the pitch. And this is going to be a throw. Good anticipation by the opposing player there to read the direction of the throw. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end pretty easy to defend against. 
steered through. And that shot's blocked very quickly. And now they've got a corner on the attack again, the team that's leading by one goal. In goes the corner. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. The game being played in one half of the pitch at the moment. Team with possession finding it hard, though, to get into areas where they're going to score a goal. Well, the referee has signaled for half. And the ball is moving again for the start of the second half. Wood. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Goodmanson, good position for the cross. He's in. Oh, it's got to be. Goal! They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely, and that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. He took it with greater plum. I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. A good look here, again, via the replay of the goal. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and, boy, is he getting results out there. Restarting at 2-0. Gibson, Wood, Mbolo, Westwood, he's got his shot off now, credit to them, they're still having a go here, although if they got that one in, it really would have been game. On. Yeah, I mean, the two goals down, but they haven't played badly. And if that had gone in, that'd have gained some faith and confidence. Three players coming on. Slipping it through. Just the keeper to beat. It must be. Nene. Beautiful goal. Oh, talk about a dramatic appearance there from the substitute. Brilliant goal from him. Arsenal almost on easy street with that uh, latest goal and very comfortable in the situation in the match. Well, it's just a question of being a professional now and not making any mistakes. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. A quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. Arsenal, they'll be facing Leicester City. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. 
So we'll restart with a throw in. Mohamed El Neni. Deflected out for a throw. Valverde. So what about Burnley's next game? They're playing Liverpool in the next match. And I think it's a one-goal game here either way. It's big news, this, not just in Italy, all over Europe, all over the world, really. The new Juventus signing. Well, you can understand when you see his track record why they've spent about £85 million pounds on him. Valverde. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Can go back to the goalkeeper here and does. To Gibson. Careless there. Thomas. That's very good shielding of the ball. Good Munson. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. With great vision here. Totally unmarked in the middle. Off the post. Oh, it's a long way away from the target. He was so close in. Oh, that's a howler. And he's uh, getting some stick off those supporters. And it's going to be a substitution now for this team. Valverde. This has been called a football match, but it hasn't. Slipping it through. In with a chance. Got to keep his nerve here. It's a goal! Hat-trick. Goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. Well, no wonder he's wheeling away in a super celebration. To get a hat-trick is a fantastic experience, and he's just done that. Well, having scored two, he was just so full of confidence, and he never looked like missing that chance. Well, it's great when a plan comes together, and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. There will be a minimum... Of three minutes. We're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Good Munson. Valverde. Arsenal have won the match. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. He was so sharp in front of goal. Not every day you uh, grab yourself a hat-trick. No wonder he's laughing. His manager, too, will be doubly pleased with that win. Good vision. Delivered into the box. It's in. It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. And we'll now have to see whether that will change both managers. Good place to win the ball here. Room for the cross. And the goalkeeper reached for it, but he didn't have to reach at full stretch. Chance nicely, and that really has given them 
much more of a basis for the rest of this match. He's got his shot off now. Credit to them, they're still having a go here. Although if they got that one in, it really would have been game on. Yeah, I mean, the two goals down, but they haven't played badly. It must be. Danny. Beautiful goal. Oh, talk about a dramatic appearance there from the substitute. Brilliant goal from...